Let's bring in Princeton University political scientist Lauren Wright. Lauren, it's great to have you on. I want to put this on the screen. It's from Politico. They say the following here. The conventional wisdom among Republicans is that if Donald Trump's opponents can't slow him down in Iowa, then the race may be over. I mean, you look at his lead. It's a big number. Nobody's ever really lost that kind of number. So I think that's probably a pretty good assessment. What do you think? I mean, I think there is something to this, Trace, because Trump is a little bit weaker in Iowa than he is in national polls, about 44 percent compared to 54 percent nationally. And so if there is a place where other Republicans can step in and maybe surprise everybody and upend things, this would be the state. He's lost there before. Uh, he's not trying very hard because he's so dominant until tomorrow, mm -hmm. perhaps he'll make a big splash. And we've seen surprises there before. Um, the other end of that is that, you know, if Trump doesn't do well in Iowa, I don't think yeah. that's particularly meaningful. Just ask President Cruz or Huckabee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the old saying that Iowa picks corn and New Hampshire picks presidents, Lauren. But, you know, you talk about not trying very hard. He's not speaking Iowa uh, that we know of, right? He, he won't sign this loyalty pledge. And it's unclear if he'll even debate. I mean, that's kind of the issue here is will the president attend the first debate on August 23rd? But then again, does he really have much to gain by all this? No. In fact, I think he only has something to lose. I mean, the other candidates need Trump on the stage to draw a contrast. And if he doesn't provide that for them, it's frankly much more boring to watch as an event, but um, informative for the voters tuning in because these candidates do need to distinguish themselves and they do need to explain how they would do the job differently than uh, this slate of a lot of other people. But a lot of things are shaping up just like they did in 2016. Yeah. Uh, candidates could not distinguish themselves. And Trump as the entertainer really cleared the field. Yeah, and I want to put this lastly, because Iowa used to be kind of purple. It seems like it's pretty much red. The New York Times says the following in interviews this week, Iowa Democrats said the state now stood as a warning sign for what happens when their party falls out of touch with voters who once made up key parts of its electoral coalition. I mean, bad time to be a Hawkeye Democrat, Lauren. Well, you know, it's not as bad as my home state of California. I know how they feel. Uh, there's about 5 million more registered Democrats in California than Republicans. Uh, but in Iowa, it's much closer. It's about 100,000 voters apart. And mm -hmm. in 2020, the same percentage, about 30 percent of registered Republicans and Democrats participated in their party's caucus. And so, yes, Democrats are losing badly there in a lot of races. But yeah. as far as a registration advantage, uh, they can absolutely come back from that. They're not that far behind. Lauren Wright, uh, great to have you on. Thank you.